Give one word or term for each of the following descriptions. So write only the word or term next to the question numbers. So we've got 1.2.1 all the way to 1.2.3 here. So a learning style, which allows you to learn best by doing, moving and touching. So it's not visual, it's not musical, it's not verbal. We're moving around. This is going to be physical. A way of governance where the people of a country have the right to engage with and decide on legislation. South Africa also follows this model of governance. Uh, we are a democracy in South Africa. So the answer there is democracy. 1.2.3, an evidence-based research method used by the media to expose public matters concealed by people in power. Well, evidence-based research method, think carte blanche, think Daily Maverick, News24, a lot of big organizations. This is going to be investigative journalism or, or media forensics. So I'm just going to put IJ, that's going to be investigative journalism. 1.3, answer the following questions by writing the answer next to the question numbers. So, oh, sorry about that. We've got 1.3.1 to 1.3.3 in the answer book. Write your answers in full sentences. So differentiate between the responsibilities of national and provincial governments in ensuring safe and healthy living conditions for all citizens. So... The national government, they create, amend, and they carry out, they implement, and they will improve laws that promote safe and healthy living for the whole country. But the provincial government carries out these implementations. So national government, it's all about creation and amending existing laws. Provincial government is more about enforcing these laws, carrying out the, func the functions. 1.3.2. Explain one way in which you could adapt community sports or games to accommodate people with different disabilities, uh, mental, physical. So you could pair people with disabilities with abled people and constantly rotate such teams as well. The worst thing you could possibly do is to treat someone with a disability differently. It's terrible. For those of you that are battling perhaps autism, maybe you've had a leg amputated, whatever it is, maybe you're disabled in whatever way. Um, there's no reason for alternate treatment or anything like that. So don't treat anyone differently. Treat them exactly the same, uh, but just adapt, obviously. Like if someone is blind, guide them to where they need to go. If someone is deaf, perhaps learn some basic uh, sign language. And adjust the physical activity by using equipment that may accommodate disabled people. Maybe use pictures to explain or modify the rules of the game. Maybe do it verbally, whatever it is, adjust based on the disability of the person. So it's all about adjustment. 1.3.3, discuss one benefit of visualizing the information that you study. So if we visualize information that we study, we're just able to make a bit more sense of what we're studying and we can store information in our long-term memory, which makes it a bit easier to recall that information. So we can capture it and retain a large amount of information as the picture formed in our minds, it may be a summary of the overall content. So it just helps us to make sense and it enables us to recall that information. Okay, next, uh, read the source below and answer the following questions. Write your answers in full sentences. So the power of our belief system. So our belief system, unlike ideologies, is an invisible force behind our behavior. Question 1.4.1, state two factors which may have shaped your belief system. Two factors, well, just our earliest of relationships with friends and family. So just well relationships in general significant experiences as well that we've had in our life maybe the divorce of our parents maybe we were assaulted when we were younger whatever it is these positive and negative events or maybe there were influential people but that could stem from well relationships maybe it was the religion that we followed whatever it is question 1.4.2 identify sorry sorry that is silly of me define the term ideologies so what are ideologies so Ideology is just, in, in summary, they're, they're ideas that define a particular group of people, which may refer to political, social, or economic ideas. They're, they're principles that are inherent to a group of people. So principles, ideas, whatever it is, that are very like esoteric, like they define a particular, a specific group of individuals. Question 1.4.3 suggests one way in which your belief system could influence your personal lifestyle choices and motivate your answer. So suggest one way in which your belief system could influence your personal choices. So your 
Beliefs on the type of lifestyle you want to live in the future may affect the goals you set or career choices that you make in life. So it affects your goal setting. I mean, last year I had an absolutely brilliant student who nailed down seven distinctions in matric. He followed Islam, he was a Muslim, and one of the key elements to his study strategy that he put very nicely to me was that he aligned all of his studying with praying five times a day. And he used that not only as a break, but just to to recoup, to regroup. And he opted not to go and study medicine, um, which is what he wanted to do. He decided to take like a one, two year break from his studies and become a, a hafiz. So he'd be able to recite the Quran. So, you know, to, to those who are not particularly aware of it, it may seem like, oh, like, why are you giving up this opportunity? You should be studying. Uh, but he wanted to take his faith a bit more seriously, which is beautiful in itself. Second, the morals and values that we believe in may influence the type of friends we choose and activities we engage in as well. You know, show me your friends, I'll show you your future. So as a result of the friends that we have, we engage in different activities, we wear different clothes, and we embrace different life paths. Okay, that is it. That is the long question. Sorry, that is the short question done and dusted. Not too hectic.